I'm uh, Dr. Fred Otieno. I work with Atlantis Life Science. Uh, Atlantis Life Science is a, a company that deals with the manufacturing, processing, and even distribution of veterinary products. Uh, it has four departments. Uh, we have poultry department. We have uh, animal health department. We also have uh, public health department. And we have genetics department that deals with the uh, genetics that is in the design of mycelium. Now, here today, here today, we are representing uh, almost all those departments uh, in this table. And uh, just to tell you a bit of our products that we have here today, we have uh, poultry products. And poultry products, just to talk a few, to talk about uh, some of this, we have uh, in poultry production, number one, we always target at uh, reducing entry of pathogens and bacteria to your poultry unit. And with that, we always uh, advise that you have to make sure you do good disinfection in your poultry unit. Now, for you to do good disinfection, what do you need? You need a disinfectant. This disinfectant is important. This disinfectant is important. Number one, it prevents entry of pathogens, which we carry. And then, uh, when some people go out to other poultry units and they come to your poultry unit, they carry these viruses and even bacteria to your poultry unit and they predispose your poultry to pathogens and even viruses. Now, we recommend you do disinfection. We have a product here called Biosec. Biosec is from the word biosecurity. You need biosecurity in your poultry unit, right? And uh, Biosec is made up of six molecules in it. Now, these six molecules are four ammonium compounds, and we also have glutaraldehyde. But the most important one here is isopropanol. Isopropanol is alcohol-based disinfectant. Now, how does it help? You know, in poultry unit, when you do disinfection, some of these disinfectants are such that you have to get out the poultry or wait until uh, your flock is done. Before you introduce another flock, you do disinfection. But with this isopropanol, you don't have to wait because you can use it while the poultry are inside. And uh, the beauty of it, when you use it when poultry are inside, uh, most we always advise you do fogging. And when you do that fogging, they inhale this alcohol. Once they inhale this alcohol, it always opens the respiratory system. And this one always uh, makes it easy for you, especially when you're doing treatment against respiratory diseases. It, uh, it uh, makes it faster for the poultry to heal very fast, right? Then, in poultry production, after you've constructed your poultry house, you always introduce birds, especially broilers and layers, at day old, right? When you introduce your layers and broilers at day old, we always target them to reach your target. That is, if they are layers, they start laying, and if they are broilers, they start laying at almost 95 to 100% of what you brought at day old, right? Now, how do we achieve that? We achieve that by protecting them from diseases. With increased demand for food products, farmers are being urged to seize the opportunity by embracing new technologies that can boost their productivity. This also gives them a platform to learn about agri-finance through the various agricultural finance platforms that were available at the event. Now, we have Solvita. This is a multivitamin. We always advise you to introduce it to day old chicks. This uh, Solvita will help uh, day old chicks. Number one, it has uh, trace elements. And the trace elements that are inside, we have zinc, we have copper, we have cobalt. And the most important one, it has selenium. Selenium is responsible for the immunity. We always want our poultry to have good immunity at early. It is from day one because once they have good immunity, it will protect them against poultry diseases. Then, secondly, it has a methionine and lysine. These ones are amino acids. Now, these amino acids they are helpful in broilers and layers. Number one, when uh, when they are layers, we always target the sizes of eggs to be a little bit bigger, right? 
And then for broilers, we always target the muscle to be of weight. Now, the amino acid lysine is, is responsible for increase in sizes of eggs. And then medial 9 is always res responsible for increasing the laying percentage in our layers. Laying percentage is, uh, uh, if I explain a bit about laying percentage, in uh, layers, we always target our laying buds to at least uh, achieve 300 uh, eggs in a year. That is what we call the economic laying period. It is always one year. And in this one year, we always want to get the best out of our, out of our layers. Now, how will you achieve this? We will only achieve this when we increase its laying percentage. Unapatanga kuna zile layers that takes two, three days before laying again. Eh? But you know, when they do that, it is at the expense of, of the farmer. Because at the end of the day, you will still have to feed them. Now, uh, medium nine, will increase that link percentage such that after every 27 hours at least you should have your buds link. Uh, <coughs> Solvita can also be used even in, in older buds, even in uh, uh, other breeds like uh, uh, Kroelas, like uh, Kienyeji, Kenbro, yeah, because at the end of the day you'll always want uh, muscles and you always want eggs. Then we have here Vigorex. Vigorex is also a very unique product. Vigorex is a liver protectant. Uh, in the body of our birds, uh, liver is responsible for so many things. And the most important one is metabolism. Metabolism is always the primary role of, of, of the liver. And when you have good metabolism in your body, almost everything else works okay. Now, for us to protect our, our buds, our liver, we always have a liver protectant. Uh, you know, like in human beings, we always give, uh, we give them spe special treatments, right? Because when you go to stores where they make feeds, they always select the best, take it to human beings. But for our poultry, they always give this remnants, easy by and by, and Joanna to our poultry. Now, what happens? Is it mind in by as in a aflatoxins? And when we have aflatoxin, it will hinder our the growth of our poultry because it will affect our liver. Now, the liver extract in this vigorex goes and binds those toxins and protects the liver from those aflatoxins. Then this liver this liver protectant vigorex also has what we call the probiotics. Probiotics are the good bacteria that uh, the body needs. Yeah? And uh, like just our poultry, they also need this good bacteria, especially in the proventiculars. What does it do? It gives uh, the proventiculars a good environment for the growth of the villis. The villis in the proventiculars are always uh, the, 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 the ones that absorb, are responsible for the absorption of, of feed. Now, when there's good environment for their growth, they will grow longer, right? And when they grow longer, they increase the surface area for the absorption of, of food. And uh, that is now the function of probiotics in this, in this Vigorex. This Vigorex also has enzymes uh, in it, and it also has uh, ascorbic acids, uh, and all those are very important too in the growth of our, of our poultry. Uh, again, for our poultry farmers, we also have Hadex. Hadex is also a very special product. Hadex is made up of calcium, and most importantly, it is made up of vitamin D3. You know, vitamin D3 is, is what is responsible for the absorption of calcium in the, in the body. People will ask, ask uh, us a lot, people always ask us a lot, why will I give, why will I use Hadex if I have DCP, because DCP is also calcium. Eh? Now the answer is this. DCP has no vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 is the one that is responsible for the absorption of calcium in the, in the body. Now, in the market, Adex is the only one that has the highest number of vitamin D3 uh, molecule in it. Eh? And the, 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 the concentration of vitamin D3 in this Adex is 50,000 international units. It is the one, the highest in the market, meaning it will uh, make sure calcium is 
well absorbed into, into the body. Now, calcium helps the body, especially for layers. Uh, we have layers with weak eggshell. And uh, also we have layers with the shell that is, uh, doesn't have a good shape, right? Now it is calcium that is responsible for strengthening of the eggshell and even having good shape for our, our eggs. Um, for broilers, you also need adex because you know with broilers, they always gain muscle so fast, than, faster than the development of the skeletal muscles, that is the bones, right? And uh, it means that the broiler will appear very mature and very big, but the bones are very weak. And it always uh, brings problems of lameness and even fractures in our poultry. Now, to strengthen the bones, you need hardex because calcium is also responsible for the strengthening of the bones. Um, again, still to our poultry farmers, we have uh, Vigo Boost layers and Vigo Boost broilers. Just from the name, Vigo Boost broilers is, uh, we, we need it, we, we use it in our broilers. And what does it do? We always introduce it at day 21 uh, in our broilers to gain the muscle when you prepare it for, for the market. Yeah? It gains the muscle, the breast muscles, and even the drumstick. Uh, then for Vigo Boost layers, also responsible for uh, eggs. When they start laying, you give Vigo Boost layers. Yeah? And when you give Vigo Boost layers, number one, you'll experience what I just talked about, increased laying percentage and even the egg sizes in our, in our layers. Uh, we also have a product here called Vitacom. Vitacom works exactly as Solvita, what I explained earlier, uh, the four in one. Vitacom also works the same, but in this case, Vitacom is, is uh, in powder form. Solvita is in liquid form. Now, you know there are vitamins that are stable in, in powder form and are not stable in liquid form. And those are the ones that we have incorporated into Vitacom. Yeah? And you know there are farmers who always prefer uh, giving this in their feeds, uh, in their, uh, giving vitamins in their feed. So they are catered for in this powder form. Uh, then, um, we said we are fighting against antimicrobial resistance. So, our company, so far we only have two antibiotics. Because at the end of the day, our poultry will get sick, right? And when they get sick, we'll have to treat them with an antibiotics. Now we have two antibiotics here. There's uh, avidoxin and this phosmid. Both of them are broad-spectrum antibiotics. And for avidoxin, we have what we call tylosin titrate and doxycycline. This one's uh, tylosin is always responsible for respiratory infections, like the chronic respiratory diseases, also Newcastle and all that. Kenya having a thriving poultry and dairy sector, agricultural mechanization is seen to contribute significantly to these value chains. Farmers, however, continue to be saddled with high input costs on feeds as the adverse impact of climate change remains a hurdle. For now, farmers have to practice smart farming techniques to be able to sustain their livelihoods. Oxytocin has not been used, has not been abused compared to the avidoxin that day. And the time. Thank you for watching today's episode of Mkulima Tech. Next week, we are going to hear from more experts as they guide us through the solutions they are bringing on board on the agri-tech value chain system. Keep it Kitchen Farmers TV for more informative shows and remember to subscribe to our Facebook and YouTube page at Farm Kenya. Animal health department, right? Uh, in animal health department.